Hey guys, and welcome to another Get Ready With Me, this time for an evening out during Wave Gothic Treffen, a goth festival in Germany. So please keep watching if you'd like to see all the steps that I took to create this look. So first and foremost, I already showered, and then next I need to fix my bangs. This was unplanned because the day before I had thought I figured it out how to style them, but they got too annoying, so I had to fix them. I definitely risked ruining the look here, but it was very necessary. Luckily, I was able to get them back under control, as you can see. They're never perfect, but they're way better than before. So next up is some skincare before doing makeup. Since I was traveling, it was hot summer weather and a four day festival, I wanted to prep my skin for what I was about to put it through and do a detox face mask. This one is from Teamy. I've been using this face mask as I've gotten more into makeup this year and I can honestly say it's my most used face mask ever. I'm very lucky and I don't have too many problems with my skin, but I've been seeing some minor breakouts and bigger pores around my nose and sometimes my mouth or jaw area especially when I wear makeup, as I'm about to do. So to apply the mask, first I wet my face a little bit just to get it damp, and then I just smooth a thin to medium layer on, kind of depending on how my skin is looking that day. So now that the mask is applied, I'll wait long enough for it to fully dry, which usually takes about anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how thick it is. Afterward, my skin is feeling soft and fresh, and the areas around my nose and my mouth are looking better. Then I added some moisturizer, and now my skin is feeling ready to go. And as you can see, it is still very sunny outside, so the last step of skincare is sunscreen. This one is a hydrating SPF 30 from Nivea, and I applied it all over. And by the way, sorry about the kind of weird shot here, um, but the bathroom was occupied while others were getting ready at the same time. That's what happens when you have six people in one Airbnb. And I was using the viewfinder as a mirror, but don't worry, I will switch in a bit. And now that my skin is all prepped and protected, I'm ready to start my makeup. First up is primer, and I'm trying out a new one from Catrice that's supposed to blur my pores that I mentioned earlier. It's definitely a lot softer than my old one, so I like it so far. Next is my Maybelline foundation, but then I realized that I forgot to put primer on my neck, so first I did that. Okay, now is foundation. I did a light layer since my skin is looking good from the mask and the primer and I applied it with my trusty travel-sized brush from IT Cosmetics. And of course, making sure not to forget my neck this time. Learned my lesson with the primer. Next, I added a small amount of the highlight from my NYX Wonder Stick underneath my eyes, blending it with a damp sponge. I was going to do contour as well, but I decided that it wasn't worth the risk of fucking up since I was on a bit of a time crunch. So I just gently blended the rest of my face with the sponge. And the last step for base is powder. Here I'm using an anti-redness loose powder applied with another travel size IT Cosmetics brush. Now we're gonna step away from makeup for a sec while I put in some contacts. I'm a lot better at doing this now, although this eye took three tries, but this eye only took one. I was slightly proud. These are my favorite contacts, and for whatever reason, I always get a little bit of a confidence boost when I wear them. Next up would be brows, but I just got them done, so they're looking good. Which means eyes is next. First, I'm adding a black liner to my inner waterline that's supposed to be specifically for that, but I'm not sure how well it stays compared to just a standard pencil. Then I spent about 10 minutes trying to do an intense wing with gel liner, but I just couldn't get it to look how I wanted it to, so I eventually scrapped the idea. Luckily by then, the bathroom was free again, so now it's attempt number two on the eyes. I'm starting off with the shade Copper Plate from MAC, applying it all over the lid. At this point, I didn't really have a plan, so I was just going in with 
a kind of a smoky base shade. Then I had the idea to try to do a graphic shadow look, but then when that wasn't really looking how I wanted it to, I kind of wanted to give up. But I decided that third time's the charm and I kept going. So next I went in with the shade Black Tide, focusing on my crease and outer corner. Then I brought it underneath my eye onto my lower lash line, and I smoked it a bit further out from my lid. Next, I used a melted chrome shadow from Essence in the shade Platinum Nights, applying it mainly just to the lids. Then I tried to blend a bit using a clean fluffy brush. Next, I tried my best to do some liner using a pen from Essence, but it wasn't showing up as well as I wanted it to, so I decided to try my luck and go back to the gel liner from Maybelline that I fucked up with earlier. I did this off camera so that I could concentrate, and it worked. Then I used another chrome shadow from Essence in the shade Steal the Look to accent the inner corner and the lower lash line. So here is the finished shadow and liner look. And finally, I did mascara off camera using Rimmel Scandalize for the top lashes and W7 Queen Bee for the lower lashes. For the lips, I wanted to try this Vivid Matte Liquid Lip from Maybelline in the shade Sinful Stone. I've never been big into lip products just because whenever I put it on, I feel like it looks weird and that's what happened here, so I ultimately decided against wearing it and took it off. Then I almost considered leaving it like this before wiping it all the way off and just doing what I normally do, which is just chapstick. And so with that, makeup is finished. Next up is hair. And for my hair, I decided to go with high pigtails. I wanted to do something a little bit intense to go with the outfit, but I also wanted a type of updo just since it was so hot. And since these extensions are thick synthetics, the pigtails give this really cool shape that to me kind of looks like horns. Like I said, I wanted something big and intense to go with the outfit and to match the eyes. Speaking of the outfit, I started with a black bandeau and a black maxi skirt. Then I added this harness, which I really like. Although it can be tricky to put on sometimes since the straps like to move around a bit. But besides that, it's a really simple way to bring a look to the next level. It's definitely a statement harness with studs, spikes, rings, and of course, a pentagram. Next is legwear. I wanted to add something that was more interesting than just socks or tights and that had more substance than just fishnets. So I ended up making my own pair of thigh highs. I followed a couple different YouTube tutorials on how to distress them that I'll link below, then I cut them into thigh highs and sewed an elastic band at the top that you can see here. I probably shouldn't have used a zebra print elastic band for this, but I didn't know it was going to work, and then it did and I didn't want to redo it with a black elastic band, so. Next time I'll just start off using the right materials, and I would probably sew the top a little bit different. I found a new tutorial that I watched after making these that I'll link in the description if you'd want to see a better way on how to make your own thigh highs. But anyway, I am really happy with how they turned out. They're exactly what I wanted to add to this look. Next, I added a belt, which is actually a Frankenstein belt that I put together out of a few things. It ended up being way harder to put on than the harness, so I filmed an extra clip to show you how I made it, so you guys don't have to watch me struggle. First, I started with this chain belt, and then I added parts from two leg harnesses, also with chains. I attached the main part of the leg harness in the front, and attached its chains to the back of the belt. Then I took two more chains from the other leg harness and looped them through this big ring, attaching them to the sides of the belt. And that's it! Here is my completed Frankenstein belt, and now it's finally on in real life as well, and here is how it looks with the maxi skirt. I really love these two together, since I think it adds just enough extra detail to an already very cool skirt. Then last, but never least, is the boots. My trusty demonias that I've had for forever and are definitely my go-to shoe. They're not too flashy, but they're not too basic, and they just go with everything I own. So with that, the outfit is done and the final look is finally complete. So let's cue the music and get into the montage. This is the future. Evolution. This 
this is the future. All right, and so with that, I guess we're done with this Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys liked this one, so be sure to let me know what you think down below. For info about the outfit, the makeup, or anything else I did to get ready, then check the description. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!